Good morning. You're watching Fox 46. Good day, Charlotte. New this morning, people are ready for the most part to come out of lockdown and get back to whatever normal might happen to be. Dr. Anna Maria Temple, one of our favorites here on Good Day Charlotte, here with us this morning with some tips on what to do when we get back outside to quote new normal. Good morning, Dr. Temple, how are you? Good morning, so great to be here, how are you? Happy birthday yesterday. So Thank you. glad you are celebrating today. Before we get to these tips, I kind of want your take, your opinion on how do you think we're doing? How are we doing as a state, as a city? Do you feel like we're going up? Are we getting better? Are we peaking? I think every morning people are going, I don't know where we are in all this. Well, I think, you know what, the reason that we did the quarantine is to slow down the spread of infection. And yeah. so not so a lot of us don't get sick at the same time. And I think we've accomplished that. We have flattened the curve and I think we're doing great. And it's time to get out there and start socializing and interacting with the rest of the world. All right. Before we do that on a regular basis, what are some things that we should be looking at that start inside our home that will help us as we get out there back into the world? Well, number one thing, we have got to get control of sugar. And I know you hear me say this all the time, but yeah. I don't think we're getting the message <laughs> because Americans are still eating 152 pounds of sugar a year. Whoa. And a lot of people are like, oh, no, I get it. Let's not eat cookies. But we're not understanding that it's hidden. Sugar is hidden in so many of our foods from ketchup to tomato sauce to um, granola bars to oatmeal to dried fruits. I mean, it is hidden in everything, including our soda and, and sugar beverages. Well, we know it, it helps us pack on the pounds, which nobody wants, but what does that have to do with getting back out and trying not to get sick and being out in the world again? What's the connection? When you eat sugar, the sugar will depress your immune system, so it will prevent your immune system uh. from working properly for up to five hours after you eat a dose of sugar. That's really scary when you're dealing with a virus that can make you really sick. Well, step one, reducing sugar, that in itself is a major goal if you could even go 30 days. And you'll be blown away when you go to the supermarket and start looking at labels. If you try to buy things without sugar, you're going to end up with almost nothing in your cart. It's very difficult to find, so that's a great idea. Step number two, adding some vitamin C and vitamin D. How do those play into our health? Vitamin C, oh, that's the rage, right? If you actually Google COVID and the treatment for it, you're going to see vitamin C everywhere and everybody's rushing for the supplements. And I was like, people, it's in your refrigerator. We have red peppers that are very high in vitamin C. It's actually much higher. It's two times the amount of vitamin C is in a pepper than in an orange. This is 107 milligrams per half cup, and an orange is only 51 milligrams. And let me do a pop quiz. Do you know what is the food that is highest in vitamin C, Jason? Oh, sweet potato. No, uh, blueberries. I don't know. Clearly. Guava. <laughs> Guava has the most Guava? amount of vitamin C. One cup of it will actually give you more than you need for your immune system boost. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's quickly go through the rest of these. Vitamin D. Uh, uh, vitamin what, what about D. that one? 50% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D. In my clinic specifically, 80% of kids are deficient in vitamin D. And everybody's reaching for the supplement. And I'm like, you know, healthy does not have to be expensive. Go outside. Sunshine so is up, your yeah. best source of vitamin D. Now, what is selenium? What does that do? Oh, selenium is a very potent antioxidant, which is a great defense against COVID. Again, everybody's reaching for a supplement instead of a Brazil nut. Your Brazil nut has more than your daily recommended dose. Now, these are giant nuts, and everybody's like, oh, they're so big, we can't eat these. Okay, well, you're going to crush them and put them in your oatmeal. You crush them and put them on salad. You just need one Brazil nut a day, and you're good to go. Oh, my gosh, I like those a lot. All right, we're out of time. The last one is sleep, and we know how important that is and how that affects your immune system when you're, when you're down and you're not getting the rest you need. We're going to put all these tips on our website as well at fox46.com and on our new Fox 46 News app. You can watch this interview shortly after we go off air. Dr. Temple, again, happy birthday yesterday. I hope you have a wonderful week with your family. Stay safe, and thanks for keeping us healthy. Thanks. Stay safe. Be well, everyone. All right, take care. Stay with us. We'll be right back.